Hi, I'm Dan, and today I want to show you how to balance the Canon XF105 on a Steadicam Maryland 2. Now, this is an interesting camera because it's actually not that heavy. But by the time you've taken the side of the uh, screen out and taken into consideration the mic holder and the camera handle, there's actually quite a lot of mass there. Now, what I've done is I've actually attached the camera plate already. I found the centre of gravity on this, which was just about at the point where the hole actually fits into the camera. I've placed that on H and I've screwed that into the camera body. The next thing to do is add this on to the stage and lock that off. Now, as a starting point, you want your centre of gravity to be slightly behind the stage. Now this isn't an absolute rule, but it's a starting point. What you'll notice is already you've got a lot of mass on this side of the camera and nothing to counterweight this pendulum effect, which is what we're trying to do. We're trying to bring the camera into a static position. So this one will need a start weight, three middle weights and an end weight. And we'll screw that on to the bottom here. That's stage one. What that will do is give us a better counterbalance to bring it into the upright position. But you'll notice it's not sitting in the upright position and that's because there's no nose weight. What we need is to put some weight on the nose to bring this down into a vertical position. Now in most cases, you need nothing more than a single nose weight. There we go. Now at the moment, the whole thing is still veering up to the top. So let's move the whole stage forward to try and move that centre of gravity. That's getting better. There we go. Getting very, very close to a good balance there. Now let's look at the back spirit level. That is actually already balanced. Sometimes you're lucky and it just happens to be in the right place. But I think you create your own luck by starting in the right place first. Let's look now at the vertical and the horizontal. That's tilting forward ever so slightly, but I quite like my camera to be tilting from my lens, to be tilting forward slightly. Now let's just test fore and aft. That's looking good. And then side to side. Now it's actually slightly waving like this. So what can we do about that? Well, if it's penduluming, the weight's actually sitting back a bit too far. So what we want to do is extend the arc to bring the camera forward. And we do that by going clockwise, a half turn. Now, what we need to do is adjust that plate and bring that back. So by Moving the weight forward, we're now actually adjusting the stage to compensate. There we go. And the final check is drop time which is quite hard one. So let's adjust the center column here and that will help our drop time. One, two, there we go. So we're now in a position where we've got a very nicely balanced XF 105. Hope you found that useful.